I want to show you something. There is Jesus Christ, the King of kings and Lord of lords, and there is the devil, the father of lies and master of evil. There are angels who protect, minister, and praise God, but there are also demons trying to hinder God's work. Moreover, there are people used by God, true servants of his kingdom, men and women spreading the gospel of Jesus Christ. Similarly, the devil has his agents, men and women driven by demonic spirits. I came across a video from a man named James Kearney where he discusses the reality of spiritual warfare. They did some deliverance work and helped someone leave witchcraft and come to Christ. After this, a group of witches targeted the pastor. We need to understand this. The devil won't target you until you start doing God's work. It's when you begin to preach minister and impact others that Satan sees you as a threat. That's what happened here. We need to wake up to this reality. Just because you don't see or hear about it doesn't mean it's not happening. The devil is active, but don't fear or be discouraged. But don't fear or be discouraged because God is also at work protecting and defending his children. For many, this might be surprising to hear, but it's important to know that the Bible repeatedly warns us about the devil's evil nature. The Bible tells us that he comes only to do three things. In John 10, verse 10, it says, the thief comes only to steal and kill and destroy. In 1 Peter 5, we are told that our enemy, the devil, prowls around like a roaring lion, looking for someone to devour. Dear listener, I share this not to scare you, but to awaken you to the reality of evil in the world. Jesus Christ says in Matthew 16, verse 18, And I tell you, you are Peter, and on this rock I will build my church, and the gates of hell shall not prevail against it. This is something to declare boldly. The gates of hell shall not prevail in our homes, our children's lives, our marriages, or our lives. This is a powerful declaration to the devil, telling him that whatever he had planned is destroyed in Jesus' name. His schemes are rendered useless by the blood of Jesus Christ, the word of God and our testimony. I encourage you not to fear. Isaiah 54 verse 17 says, No weapon formed against you shall prosper, and every tongue which rises against you in judgment you shall condemn. This is the heritage of the servants of the Lord, and their righteousness is from me, says the Lord. This verse is a wonderful promise that we as believers should declare over ourselves. No weapon formed against us shall prosper, and every tongue that rises against us in judgment we shall condemn. This is the heritage we have from the Lord. This scripture confirms that Jesus Christ is our protector. He turns what was meant for evil into good, reverses every curse, blocks every spell, and nullifies every negative word spoken over your life. Jesus directs your path and elevates you above your enemies. No weapon formed against me shall prosper. Amen to that. Let this be true in my life, Lord. I completely agree with this promise Jesus. Believers, this promise should be etched on our hearts. The world can be a scary place without God, and people can be hurtful whether you have God or not. But I want to uplift you and strengthen your faith. Do not fear. No weapon in the form of words, actions, or any other form will succeed. Believe that God's promises are true and meant for you. The Bible tells us that he who is in you is greater than he who is in the world. We defeat the devil not by being stronger, smarter, or faster, but by calling upon the name he cannot stand, the name of Jesus. Jesus is the light that drives out darkness. At the name of Jesus, Satan flees, demons tremble, and nature bows down. Christ alone has ultimate authority over all creation and has promised to be with us in every struggle. Sometimes we can't avoid life's challenges or being surrounded by evil, 
We may not be able to change our circumstances, but if we walk by faith and not by sight, we will see God's hand moving and protecting us. He has already declared that no weapon formed against us shall stand. If God is for us, who can be against us? Let us pray. Heavenly Father, I come before you in awe of your power and sovereignty. Today, I pray for the strength to stand still and trust in your unfailing love. In moments of uncertainty and chaos, help me to remain steadfast, knowing that you are working on my behalf. Let me not be swayed by fear or doubt, but anchor my faith in your promises. Lord, I acknowledge that you are the orchestrator of all things, and nothing is beyond your control. As I face challenges and obstacles, grant me the patience to wait upon you. Teach me to find peace in the midst of the storm, knowing that you are fighting my battles. Help me to stand still, knowing that your timing is perfect and your plans are for my good. Dear God, I surrender my worries and anxieties to you, knowing that you are the ultimate source of strength and provision. In moments of impatience, remind me of your faithfulness throughout history. Help me to stand still and witness your miraculous works in my life. May my trust in you deepen as I see your hand at work, guiding me through every trial and tribulation. Heavenly Father, I pray for the wisdom to discern your will and the courage to follow where you lead. As I stand still in your presence, I ask for clarity and direction. Open my eyes to see the path you have laid out before me and give me the boldness to walk in it. Help me to trust in your divine plan, even when it seems unclear or challenging. Lord, I lift up my concerns and burdens to you, knowing that you are my refuge and strength. Grant me the grace to let go of control and surrender to your sovereign authority. Help me to stand still, confident in the knowledge that you are working all things together for my good. Strengthen my faith and fill me with hope as I wait upon you. Dear God, I thank you for your unwavering love and faithfulness towards me. As I stand still in your presence, I pray for a deeper revelation of your character. Help me to know you more intimately and trust in your promises with unwavering faith. May my heart be filled with gratitude and praise, knowing that you are always working on my behalf. Heavenly Father, I confess my tendency to strive and manipulate outcomes according to my own understanding. Today, I choose to surrender control and stand still in your presence. Give me the patience to wait upon you, knowing that you are working behind the scenes on my behalf. Help me to relinquish my fears and anxieties and trust in your perfect plan for my life. Lord, I pray for the strength to stand firm in the face of adversity and opposition. As I stand still before you, I ask for your divine protection and guidance. Shield me from the schemes of the enemy and grant me victory over every obstacle. May my faith be unwavering, knowing that you are fighting for me and working all things together for my good. Dear God, I humbly submit my desires and plans to you trusting in your wisdom and sovereignty. As I stand still in your presence, I pray for the courage to surrender to your will. Align my heart with yours and may your purposes be fulfilled in my life. Help me to relinquish control and rest in the knowledge that you are working on my behalf, even when I cannot see it. Heavenly Father, I thank you for the assurance that you are always working on my behalf even in the midst of uncertainty and trials. As I stand still before you, I pray for a renewed sense of faith and hope. Fill me with your peace that surpasses all understanding and strengthen me to endure the challenges ahead. May my trust in you deepen, knowing that you are faithful to fulfill your promises in your perfect timing. Lord, I come before you with a heart full of gratitude for your faithfulness and provision. As I stand still in your presence, I pray for the courage to trust in your promises. Help me to let go of my fears and anxieties and rest in the knowledge that you are working on my behalf. Grant me the patience to wait upon you and the faith to believe that you are leading me towards your best for my life. 
Dear God, I surrender my fears and uncertainties to you, knowing that you are my refuge and strength. As I stand still before you, I pray for a renewed sense of trust and confidence in your plan for my life. Help me to let go of control and rest in the assurance that you are working all things together for my good. May my faith be unwavering, knowing that you are faithful to fulfill your promises in your perfect timing. Heavenly Father, I acknowledge your sovereignty and power over all things. As I stand still in your presence, I pray for the courage to trust in your unfailing love. Help me to let go of my doubts and fears and rest in the knowledge that you are working on my behalf. Grant me the patience to wait upon you and the faith to believe that you are leading me towards your best for my life. Lord, I lift up my concerns and burdens to you, knowing that you are the source of all wisdom and strength. As I stand still before you, I pray for the grace to trust in your perfect plan. Help me to surrender my fears and anxieties and rest in the assurance that you are working on my behalf. May my faith be unwavering, knowing that you are faithful to fulfill your promises in your perfect timing. Dear God, I thank you for your unwavering love and faithfulness towards me. As I stand still in your presence, I pray for the strength to trust in your promises. Help me to let go of my fears and doubts and rest in the knowledge that you are working on my behalf. Grant me the patience to wait upon you and the faith to believe that you are leading me towards your best for my life. Father, I ask that we, your children, become aware of the unseen battle before us. Help us not to be complacent, procrastinate, or fall asleep in this spiritual war, but to fight in prayer. May we fight with the divine power that comes only from you. I bless your name and thank you for being a God who hears our prayers. Increase my understanding of your ways and your will for my life. Grant me more wisdom and discernment. Teach me to walk with the eyes of faith and discernment. Open our eyes to see the traps set by the devil and expose his hiding places. Pour out your spirit over our lives, Lord, and teach us how to apply your word in everyday life. Open my eyes to see your power and the truth in your word. Your word in Hosea 4 verse 6 says that your people are destroyed from a lack of knowledge. I pray that I will not be among them. Expose all the devil's schemes through divine revelations from you. Remove the scales from my eyes so I can become wise to the tricks and deceptions of this world. Lord, help me never to follow the wicked ways of this world. Their way of living leads to death and destruction, but your way leads to everlasting life. I may have to endure ridicule and mockery or face uncomfortable situations, but I know my reward in heaven will be much greater. Father, Help me stay alert against worldly traps. Don't let me fall into habits that grieve your Holy Spirit or act in ways that harm my witness for Christ. Satan often disguises sin as something good and desirable. Lord, help me recognize these works of darkness and expose them, warning those around me so they won't be caught unaware. Give me the courage and strength to stand up against evil whenever I see it. Build in me a character fully equipped and bold to stand for the gospel. For the gospel alone has a power to transform lives and hearts in this dark and sinful world. Let that transformation begin in my own mind. Change my desires so I no longer think or act like the world, but instead follow Christ's example in all my actions. Replace bitterness with love and jealousy with gratitude. Break every habit and attitude that resembles the world and teach me to obey you instead. May your Holy Spirit fill me and help me discern your perfect will for my life. Lord Jesus, I pray that you give me the gift of discernment so I can be alert and watchful. May the Holy Spirit open my ears and eyes to see the enemy's tricks and traps your word says in 2 Corinthians 10, verse 3 to 5, For though we live in the world, 
We do not wage war as the world does. The weapons we fight with are not the weapons of the world. On the contrary, they have divine power to demolish strongholds. We demolish arguments and every pretension that sets itself up against the knowledge of God, and we take captive every thought to make it obedient to Christ. Give me a heart sensitive to your voice and ears to hear you always. I bless your name for hearing this prayer. Be glorified and magnified in my life. In Jesus' name I pray, amen. You said, you are Peter, and on this rock I will build my church, and the gates of hell shall not prevail against it. No weapon formed against you shall prosper, and every tongue that rises against you in judgment you shall condemn. This is the heritage of the servants of the Lord, and their righteousness is from me, says the Lord. Be strong and courageous. Do not be afraid or dismayed, for the Lord God, my God, is with you. He will not leave you or forsake you until all the work for the service of the house of the house of the Lord is finished. These prayers are a declaration of faith and trust in God's sovereignty and faithfulness. They express a willingness to surrender control and stand still, knowing that God is working behind the scenes for our good. May these prayers serve as a reminder of God's power and love, encouraging us to trust in Him wholeheartedly. Thanks for watching. Please like and subscribe and turn on the notification bell to get notified anytime we post a new video. God bless you. Amen.